If you look at actual crossings, they were lower under Obama. And when Obama came in, they were higher and he continued to lower them until the last couple months on the economy. Obama took a fucked up economy and improved it. And Trump inherited that. Right. And actually, inflation grew by 25 percent under Trump over Obama. But the one certainty about the. All right. Now, we know Mark Cuban really does not like Donald Trump. Right now, we're about to dive into Mark Cuban sitting down having a powwow with Vivek Ramaswamy. Let's see how this is about to play out. Sit back and react with your boy. If you like reactions like this, consider hitting that like button. Definitely subscribe to the channel and also hit the notification bell. Let's see how this is about to play out. We have never seen an election like this before. Something new happened. I don't know how it just changed the way it did, but hey, it must be tech. Tech is really making everything shift a, a, a specific direction, all right? So let's see how this is about to play out. Let's go. It's ethics. The man told Mike Pence not to certify the election. The man called the governor, uh, state of secretary of state, or was it governor? I forget. And asked for 11,072 votes. The man has stolen from more hardworking Americans. You were against Trump in 2016, any... though. You were against Trump in 2016. Right. But he was unethical then, and he's still unethical. And in 20, right. That's right. But that, that's the whole point. I actually started off supporting Donald and then I got to know him. Better. When did you support him? Like 2015. I was like, he's great. He's the, you know, he's not a typical Stepford candidate. I thought that was a positive. I, th I would think, then as I think got that's a positive, right? A business guy yeah, I did. pretty practical. But then I got to know not him. Ideological. Then I got to Trump University, Trump Soho, stole $4 million from a friend of mine that had Sue to get it back. Mike Pence. You know, 40 you out just, of 44 people. Just take a look at the four years, because because each of these are just going to be separate sort of personal attack rabbit holes. Look at the country in the no, four they're years. No, personal attack rabbit holes. They're legitimate things that actually so, happen. So do you think the country, this, over, this, do you think the economy prospered and border crossing issues were far better under Donald Trump under those four years than they've been no. in the last four years? You know, you disagree no, on that because, premise too. No, because if you look at border cars, what, what was Obama's nickname? The deporter in chief. Mm -hmm. If you look at actual crossings, they were lower under Obama. And when Obama came in, they were higher and he continued to lower them until the last couple months on the economy. Obama took a fucked up economy and improved it. And Trump inherited that. Right. And actually, inflation grew by 25 percent under Trump over Obama. But the one certainty about the office of the president of the United States is the complete uncertainty that you have no idea what comes next. Why is it that people only like to take the good accolades? Right. They only want to take the good inheritance, right? If it's something bad, then nah, it falls on a new guy. If it's something good, then it's something that had to do with the previous one. Why do they always do this, huh? Pay attention. Do you agree with that? Yes. Okay, and so in my mind, and I think a lot of people's minds that oppose Donald Trump, is that you want somebody there that is educated on the world, but more importantly, just is ethical. Right. So that they make ethical decisions. You want somebody when there is no precedent. It's never happened before. You want somebody that has hired not people who are most loyal, like Tony Soprano might have done, but hired the very best people. And those people want to stay and work for them. Not that. If you ask me, it seems like his issue is personal. That has nothing to do with business It's very personal. A little bit of business, of course. That's what's going to start the ball rolling. But yeah, this personal right here. They're loyal. You want somebody whose first inclination is not to do what's in their own best personal interest. So right? can I just you say. You can't deny that's Donald Trump. I, I'm, I'm. It's just like a CEO of a company. Would you hire somebody that has a long history of stealing from people? See, of being I, unethical. I'll tell you you is, would is, not and you know it. Is Donald Trump a perfect person? No, he is not. Am I a perfect no, person? About I'm not. Are you a perfect person? No, you're not. No. But you're, we have we're to ask not talking about who's the actual best have president. You ever stolen the money? Have you, right now. I've never no, stolen money from anybody, ever, no. Either have I. And, and, right? Have you ever I had a company? I have, I have no evidence that, to say that Donald have Trump has either. Oh, I do for sure. Ask Barbara Corcoran, right? You know, she had to sue to get her money back. Ask anybody from Trump University. Ask people who um, bought condos in Trump Soho. Ask people from, you know, um, Trump Foundation that gave money there. Ask people who are giving money today and he's using that money for his legal fees. So, this isn't like a little discretion. This is a habit. Mark, I, That's I think that, why I, think that, I can't support him. Look. You were talking about ethics. 
you would not have you ever told any of your employees to short pay a vendor no. just to try to save some money all right now you heard it first all right so go in the comments run it up flood it up let me know what you think his real grief is with donald trump because he really has it in for donald trump as we see you understand what i mean in the meantime don't forget hit that like button definitely subscribe to the channel and also hit the notification bell